Would you like to learn how to play flamenco music on drums? This is your video. I'm going to explain you the best palo flamenco, the best flamenco rhythm to start in flamenco with drums. Are you ready? Let's go! As you know, flamenco music is something mysterious sometimes. Uh, it's a, a style of music that you cannot find a lot of information in internet. It's not easy to find information about drums in flamenco music, of course. Maybe in dancing, maybe in cajon, in percussion, maybe on guitar, but just a few information about flamenco on drums. For this reason, I want to explain you in a very clear way, uh, slowly, what is the best palo flamenco to start in flamenco music in order you to be able to play today flamenco in your studio, in your house, wherever you are practicing drums. In flamenco music, there is two different bars in all the palos flamencos. Some of them, they go in three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, and other, the last, they go in four, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Well, usually all these palos flamencos that goes in three, four used to be more difficult to learn because it's a complex rhythmical system inside them, so it's not the easy way to start in flamenco music. But there is some of them in 4-4 easy to play and more familiar for us as a drummer. In this case, we are talking about this beautiful palo flamenco, which is beside one of the most important palo flamencos in this music. It's a very, very important one. In all these flamenco records, you are going to find one song in this palo flamenco, or maybe two. This palo flamenco is called tangos. Tangos flamencos, yes. This is a beautiful palo with a very important sense in dancing. It's full of musicality, of happiness, and full of energy. So it's a very energetic palo flamenco and very interesting to study also. As I said before, it's in 4-4. Four, four. We have four parts, one, two, three, four, in these four parts, the part which is the least important is one. This is something very strange for us. When we play music in 4-4, four, four, one used to be very important in music like pop, funk, uh, I don't know, gospel, etc. So in this case, two, three, and four, they are the most important in this palo flamenco and much more than any other four four for us flamenco people in these tangos is like one for you it's so important like this of course when you are playing drums in tangos flamencos you need to feel this four very clear in order to do the breaks and probably end that break in the four part to finish that break. Okay, we call it cierres or remates. When we say breaks, we call it cierres or remates. We have one, two, three, four. So what is the most important thing to do now before we play and we practice on drums? We need to know the clapping, yes.
Yes, clapping is a very important part in flamenco music. As you know, flamenco music at the beginning, the percussion was clapping and is always present in flamenco music. For us flamenco people, clapping is like the spin of flamenco. If you know clapping in each palo, you know half percent of all the important things of that palo. Because you know, flamenco music is more than any other thing, rhythm. Flamenco is rhythm. And we are rhythmical people, drummers. Of course, flamenco music, it suits us a lot. It's a very good place for us because the rhythm is incredible in flamenco music and we as a drummer we are going to enjoy a lot playing flamenco a lot <laughs> Believe me, it's wonderful. Well, the clapping on tangos flamencos. Well, we're going. We have four parts and we accent it to three and four. Okay? So, the first clapping we are going to do is in here. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Very easy, okay? Now, another variation is here, okay? Very easy too. Are you ready? Yes? Just a little change. Very, very simple. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four. Easy too. And the last variation. Yes? Here too. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and 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 three, four. So, we got now three different clappings in tango flamenco. These three, all of them are very, very real. If you go on a flamenco party and you do any one of these, you are in point, you are in your place. It's perfect, okay? I'm going to repeat, but without counting, without listening my voice, okay? Very quickly. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. The second example. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And the third example, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay. You are ready to do tangos clapping now. Okay. We continue with drums, of course. Okay, listen, we are going to use this flamenco clapping in a certain way to do it on a hi-hat. You are going to see how now. We are going to do some different variations, 
very basic but very flamenco variations. It sounds really a tangos, okay? We start with the first, here. This is the basic. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, another variation here too. Very easy. Probably you are going to remember something from clapping. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One. Okay, now another variation. Probably you are asking yourself, well, in what moment Pancho is going to use the snare drum? This is a moment now, in the third part. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And now the last variation. Very easy too, but for me it's the more flamenco variation because you are putting all your accent in two and four, the most important accents in tango flamencos. So we do the same hi-hat and we put the bass drum in two and the snare drum in four, like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. As you see, in all the exercise, the rhythm we did, I was showing you here these sheets with musical notes. It takes part of the new method I create with my friend and colleague, Borja Moya, called the drum in flamenco from the beginning. It's for those people, for all the people who doesn't know anything about flamenco music or just a few, and they want to learn how to play drums in flamenco music and uh, they don't know how to do it. This is your method, believe me, because you are going to find in it the most important things you need to know to start in flamenco music. Studying flamenco music, you are going to get a lot of skills as a drummer. Musicality, creativity, tempo, sound, technique, many things, and you are going to grow as a drummer very, very much. In this book, you are going to find the five more important flamenco rhythms, palos flamencos. We call it palos flamencos, which are rumbas, seguidillas, fandangos, bulerías, and tangos. And in each one of them, you are going to study history, clapping, you are going to find the basic clapping and its variation, cajon, cajon percussion, the basic rhythms and its variation, and of course, drums, the basic rhythms and its variation. This method is full of knowledge, believe me, 
and it's a real method of flamenco on drums. But a part of this, you also can read all the exercise in the block method created by my friend Borja Moya. This method is for those people who doesn't know anything about musical notes, but they want to learn flamenco. They want to practice this book. For this reason, this book is made for all the people who is interested in this beautiful art, the universe of flamenco music. And believe me, when you are studying this method, you are studying the real flamenco. It's a basic one, but a real flamenco, believe me. When you study this book, please do it with flamenco music. Well, we finished the video today. So if you want to see my videos every week, please subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll be there the time you want. It's my pleasure. And don't forget, go to my YouTube channel. You are going to find a lot of playlists of different palos flamencos. And of course, there is a playlist of tango flamencos with a beautiful and incredible songs, slow tangos, fast tangos, medium tangos, and you can practice all this with music. This is the most important thing. You practice always flamenco with music. This is my advice. And of course, I'll be here with a very good content in flamenco music every week for you, drummer. Okay, see you next week. Bye bye. Camilla, guardo, hojo. Camilla, guardo, hojo. Y yo.